Today I will be showing you an Arduino circuit that can be placed into a desktop PC in order to turn the desktop PC on without actually having to touch the power button. As you can see in this video, the user only needs to wave their hand over the sensor and it will turn the computer on. And here you can see the computer in fact has been turned on. Now I will show you how it works. So to overview the basics of the Arduino, we start from the power source which is coming from a power bar to an adapter which converts 120 volt AC into 10 volt DC. The 10 volt DC wire runs underneath the power supply shroud and up into the Arduino. Now the Arduino controls many things. Firstly, it is connected to the IR sensor, which detects if a hand is close or something. On the bottom of the case, it is connected to a relay, which can simulate pressing the button at the top of the case, when it is given the command to do so by the Arduino. When a hand comes near the infrared pin, it will tell the Arduino to activate the relay and the relay will shock the pins, simulating a button press. Now I will turn the computer on using that. Now if I take my hand over it again, nothing happens. How come? Well that is because I am sensing the USB header between the 5 volt and the ground on that USB header, and the Arduino taking this information knows not to do anything with the relay if it detects that the computer is on, if it detects voltage at the USB header. To add on to the functions of the Arduino, I have added some blue LEDs that create a cool lighting effect. The LEDs could be changed into RGB LEDs, which would make it look a bit cooler. So now that the basic run through is over, we can go on to a diagram of the Arduino and the code. Now I will be going over the code for this. It is quite simple. First we just define like how to convert degrees to radians. We don't this isn't necessary. Then we define our power pin and infrared pin. Our infrared pin is a zero connected to this shield right here, and eventually connects to this IR sensor. Our power pin is A1, which connects to the USB header, and along with it there must be a ground pin from the USB to the Arduino, so this can make a circuit rather than a loose wire. The relay pin is digital pin 2, which connects to the relay so we can turn the relay on and off. There's a counter for the RGB, I will talk about that later. The red pin, R pin is connected to the red part of the LED, and so is G and B. This is just like the initial values. This is the max height of the wave if the computer is on. This is the max height of the wave for the RGB if the computer is off. First function is get infrared. It just reads this A0 pin. If it's high or 1, then that means the hand is far away. If it reads 0 or low, that means the hand is close. Now it's on to the RGB. So we have a counter that acts as like the X value as it like scrolls along here. Once it reaches 360 degrees, it goes back to zero again. So this looks a bit complicated, except I can explain it here. So this is our sine wave that we're starting off of. A crest of one, a trough of minus one. We can't have negatives in this range here, because if we write a negative to this pin, it'll just be zero, it'll just be off. So we should add one to bring it above, so it's between two and zero now. But we could do better than this, because now it's two and zero, but we want to set our own maximum height. So we should divide all of this by two to make it between one and zero, and then we multiply it by whatever number we want for the peak. But then you may notice, what's this plus 120 and what's this minus 120? Well this is to create an effect which looks a bit like this. So it'll create a rainbow effect. So this might not be visible right now, except 
you can see that while some colors go down, other colors go up, but they're all out of phase, but at the same frequency. So we should be able to get all the colors of the rainbow, and here you can see that we do get all the colors of the rainbow in this little script I made. So I think it's pretty cool, and that's why I incorporated it like that. RGB off just writes everything to zero, so that the light is off. Now for the loop. If we realize that the power pin is high, then that means the computer must be on because the USB header is on. So we should turn our RGB to maximum on, so bright RGB. If it isn't like that, then it is not powered, and RGB should be at max low, which is 8. So it'll be dimmer, and then every 50 milliseconds, we're going to check. If this is low, if a hand is near this, then we should write this to high, so the relay will fire, it will shock these switch headers, which is the same thing as pressing the button, it like simulates that, but the computer doesn't know that this is a relay and not a push button. After 150 milliseconds, we release the button, that's what the computer thinks anyway, and we wait 800 milliseconds. So this wait is so that in the time between the switch being pressed and the USB power going on, if it doesn't actually turn on within that short amount of like 50 milliseconds essentially, then it would have pressed the button again, which is bad. So we have this delay just in case. So that is all the code. It is quite simple. So I won't be going over like all of this, except I will save this as a link in the description along with this code. For the last part of this video, I will now be going over ways to improve this device. Firstly, there is the route where we could reduce the power consumption. We could remove things like all those LEDs that we don't actually need. We could replace the inefficient linear voltage regulator on the Arduino Uno with something more efficient like this buck converter. And we could turn off the IR emitter when we are not using it, using something like a transistor. The other route is we could improve functionality. We could replace this basic IR sensor with something better that can detect distance from the sensor, meaning instead of being restricted to turning the computer on and off, we could use this for gesture. That's all I have for this video. If you liked it, press the like button. If you didn't like it, press the dislike button. Um, subscribe if you want. Goodbye.